Well, hello, cheers, and welcome to NLP with Hypno Woman. Go grab your tea, give your brain a polish, pause the video, and then join me. It's so important to look after your own needs, for only by looking after yourself can you help so many others. So, got your tea? Got your coffee? Your favourite tipple? Well, let's get started. What is NLP? How do I do it a little bit differently to everyone else? Through my many, many years of doing hundreds and hundreds of face-to-face -face trainings. And thank you for joining me in this very special environment. It's almost more intimate than being in a huge classroom with lots of other folks. And I'm going to make it interesting. Oh, yes. I'm going to tell you what works, what might be a bit tricky, what maybe doesn't work so well, though you can, with various approaches, make it work. It's quite scientific. It's totally based in reality. It might have a echo of other methodologies in it. So it's a very structured approach to reality. And we begin to realise that reality is perceived somewhat differently by every single human being. I mean, how do we experience reality? Through our senses, what we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we taste, what we touch, and what we feel. And by the way, touch has two aspects to it. It has pressure as well as sensitivity. In fact, what we're going to do with our study of NLP, your study of NLP with me, Hypno Woman, Jenny Kitching, pleased to meet you. What you're going to discover is that NLP is a study of the process by which we as human beings experience reality and to understand that reality has structure. That's the first thing. Reality has structure and we're going to examine that structure and how it kind of differs in the perception of you and your client, you and your subject, you and your family member, you and your friend. But this is so interesting. It really is because you cannot not do it. This is the way our brains are wired. You cannot not do it. Yeah, you're and accessing then, your audio part of your brain. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so you're either seeing things written and repeating them in your head, like somebody's surname, and you're reading it, but it's auditory because you're, you're saying it in your own head. Right. Or you're remembering a sound. Um, or if, if you ask somebody about their favourite song or to sing along to some lyrics, quite often you'll see them go to the side. The side is more unusual. It's more, um, it's easier for me to say when people look up, they're visualising. If you're looking down, they're thinking, as in they're thinking about, they're accessing their feelings and they're, talking to themselves and um, you know Clint Eastwood don't you both of you you know yeah. Clint yeah. Uh -huh. well when Clint yeah. Eastwood was interviewed in every interview I've seen him interviewed him, he's very measured and particularly as he's got older he's, he's very careful he's very gentlemanly and he's quite slow in his delivery and he's utterly charming but he will he will pause and he will look and he will sit and if you ask if he's asked a question in an interview and you'll be watching these later if he's, when he's asked a question he'll go well i'm not really sure how i should answer that expert a, within days. a very interesting ours even um, who knows you do this is your experience of reality you're completely in control i'm just here waiting so we're on day one, which concerns the structure and maps of the world. Reality structure 
and maps of the world, secret programs and eliciting values, state-dependent behavior, conscious and unconscious, and the difference between the two, micro-expressions and eye-accessing cues, whoa, this is going to be so interesting for you. And finally on day one, blame frame. Oh yes, our default setting as human beings. There's always got to be someone or something to blame. And if there isn't someone or something to blame, then we'll blame ourselves, won't we? In order to improve. So there's so much for me to tell you about these things. So now we shall begin with our first point, which is secret programs and eliciting values. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.